Hi, I'm Gordon Klingenschmidt. I am your state representative from House District 15 in Colorado Springs. I have a news making announcement that I will not run for re-election to my House District seat. Instead, I am going to run for State Senate to become your state senator from Senate District 12. It's about the same district, it's just twice as big, so I'm not going anywhere. And why am I making this important jump? Well, as a former Navy chaplain, I pray about these decisions. And honestly, I feel called by God to try this. House 15 is gonna be in good hands. You're gonna have a good conservative run in my place there. But Senate District 12, I noticed, may not be in good hands. There was not a true conservative in that race until I joined that race. I am not only a true conservative, but I am a proven leader and I'm asking for your vote and your support. You already know I'm an Air Force Academy graduate. I earned my MBA, I have founded two successful businesses. I'm a former Navy chaplain, I've earned my PhD in theology. I'm a college professor. I lead a national ministry and television show. We have sent five million petitions to Congress. I've already helped change laws in 13 other states. I have a national track record and I've proven also that I can win local elections. We beat the Democrat in my last race 70% to 30% with a grassroots campaign of volunteers knocking on doors. I believe now I am the only principled conservative in this race for Senate District 12. I am not just a Christian, but a constitutionalist and a true conservative. Let me just give you an example. The five bills that I introduced as your state representative were the same things I campaigned on. I kept my campaign promises. I ran a pro-business bill to reduce government regulation and shrink the size of government. I ran a second amendment bill to protect your right to concealed carry in public places of accommodation. I have defended religious freedom for bakers and artists and everybody should not be compelled by the government to repeat government speech or practice a government version of religion. I believe in religious freedom. As a former Navy chaplain, I advocated for everybody's right to pray according to their own faith. And yet I had to take a stand when they told me I'm not allowed to pray in Jesus' name. I lost my career standing on principle, but I was vindicated by Congress when 300,000 Americans petitioned with me and we restored religious freedom for Navy chaplains. I introduced a bill this year to repeal common core education standards, to put local control over your children's curricula and testing. I also introduced a bill to repeal Obamacare. We should not have a federal mandate dictating how you and your doctors are able to afford your health care. I introduced the largest spending cut in the Colorado budget this year. $52 million would have been saved if the Democrats didn't disagree with me. I've lost some of these bills. The Democrats send them to the kill committees, but I'm standing on principle and I've also had some real victories this year. I have gotten words through my amendments into Colorado law protecting First Amendment rights for you to post whatever you want on Facebook, even if it indirectly annoys somebody else. I've also scored two victories in the marijuana wars to keep licenses out of the hands of convicted felons and also to make sure that candy marijuana is regulated to keep it out of the hands of innocent children. I have a track record of victories on these issues and I've been fighting for principle and I've kept my campaign promises. But I'm not perfect, listen, you know, sometimes I take such a bold stand that I get my words wrong. I've even had to apologize to some of you for speaking out in anger because I stand up for pro-life, traditional marriage, religious freedom principles. But honestly, would you rather have a candidate who's afraid to talk about those things because he might offend somebody? Or would you rather have a principled and bold candidate who's willing to speak out on these issues even if sometimes I get my words wrong? I hope you'll stand with me. I'm running for State Senate District 12 because when I looked at the other candidate in that race, I had serious concerns. My opponent's name, God bless him, is Bob Gardner. Now he's no relation to Cory Gardner, that's our US Senator, and by comparison, Cory Gardner is conservative. But Bob Gardner is not conservative. He's a liberal establishment centrist. He's a lawyer. 
okay, you know, some lawyers are good, but do we need liberal lawyers in the state house? I don't think so. He's gonna be well financed by special interest groups, by lobbyists, and not by grassroots conservatives. Did you know Bob Gardner got an F rating in his last two years in the legislature on the Principles of Liberty scorecard? He got an F. He's not standing up for principles. He's voting with the Democrats almost half the time on important issues. In fact, Bob Gardner co-sponsored this bill. This is 13-1266 and it's Obamacare in Colorado statute. Bob Gardner is listed right here as the only Republican co-sponsor with 32 Democrats and he put, put Obamacare into Colorado law forever unless we can try to repeal it. I tried to repeal this bad law this year and the Democrats voted 7-6 against me and Obamacare is still in Colorado statute. Nearly a half a million Colorado state citizens have gotten cancellation letters because Bob Gardner Care is now in Colorado law. I talked to, about this at a town hall and Bob stood up and he took the microphone. Yes, he said, Gordon's paper is accurate, but he said he had to do this because Obamacare is the law of the land, it's constitutional. And the insurance lobbyists, he said, asked him to work with the Democrats and compromise on this bill. Well, who's representing you? The insurance lobbyists, they're the ones gonna be financing his campaign, but you are the grassroots voters and you deserve better. You deserve a conservative candidate who's gonna stand up to those big money special interests. Now, Bob could actually outraise me. I'm the underdog in this campaign. It's gonna take a lot of money. He could spend up to a quarter million dollars to try and win, but he is not a true conservative. He votes with the Democrats almost half the time. And therefore, I need your support to even be competitive in this race. I need you to donate today. Please visit gordonforcolorado.com. Again, that's gordonforcolorado.com. And please, you know how we're gonna win this? With grassroots volunteers knocking on doors and little donations, $25, $50. Please, would you rather have as your state senator a principled conservative with a backbone who fights for your principles? or an establishment compromiser. I need your help. I'm Gordon Klingenschmidt and I wanna be your next state senator from Senate District 12. God bless you and we'll talk to you soon.